Hey everybody, Captain Alex1 here, and today we're gonna be continuing some more Air Force Delta Strike. No, that's not it. Um, first mission, we took out some bombers. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Sergei also went down with them. We made him crash and burn, you know what I'm saying? And then the second mission, we took out some oil refineries. I also took down, uh, or whatever his name is. I gotta see his name so I can read it in my head and then say it right. We made him crash and burn as well. He didn't even see it coming. Haha. <laughs> um, today's mission? Let's see what it's gonna be. The Gale. I wonder what that stands for. Because it's like quoted. The Gale. And all you see is a Aces plane with an OCC symbol on it. Well, everybody, looks like the enemy's finally shifted into high gear. Oh, come on, guys. Just because they can do it doesn't mean we can't. Let's also do it. Lilia, explain our next mission. Yes, sir. Amelia, give us a status update. And read us our official orders while you're at it. Our patrols have found enemy aircraft formations in area NA-44 over our coast. There have already been four enemy Navy patrols in this area. We think it's likely that they're preparing for an overseas attack. Okay, that's Here not good. Here are your official orders. Third element, head to area NA-44 immediately and intercept enemy fighters. But what's the point of this attack? We might need to change tactics. Unfortunately, we don't know their plans yet. They're probably looking to secure the airspace above their fleets. Maybe they want to use Toronto's island as a beachhead? It would be ideal. That must be it. They've got us up against a wall here, controlling both airspace and waterways. This time, it's not enough to just fight them in the air. We also have to take out any reinforcements they're stupid enough to send after us. Okay? Sounds fine by me. Kill every single one of them, right? Suits me fine. Oh, of course it suits you fine, John. I know, I know. I know what you're at. Roger. I'm smiling too. You know, I like taking out some enemy. Hope it's as easy as you think. Okay, third element. Scramble your butts out to NA44. Whatever it takes, get them the hell out of our airspace. Yeah, Ken's smiling. So normally when I play by myself, I'm going like, okay, move to next hangar. Insta use this one Not so much so I've actually gotten bored of that you know when I used to play on my ps2 I got kind of bored of that. I'd always use the special planes and it, I would take out the enemy without even trying because I've got so much HP and so much Weaponry on me. That's like unfair Nah, if I really need the special plane, I will use it But no I'm gonna use this one this one's a very, because this one's a very nice plane, and it's got hand, homing anti-air, so I'm gonna use those on the Aces and enough missiles to take out some enemy. Oh, kind of stramp. Blah, 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 blah. I was gonna say mode camera standby and I completed. So give me one second to take a look at something here. Nomad to all units. You're going after the enemy fighters. Deploy and attack. So here comes the cavalry. I feel like something might be off with my emulator. I feel like I have a different angle as I play. You can't get away. Ah, hold on. I'm back. Sorry about that. I think it was me. I think it's just me. No, it's not me. That. 
Sun shouldn't be doing that. I gotta double check something. Oh, hold on. Where's Leon? Where is... There he is. What? He dodged those two. And those two. Okay. There we go. Enemy fighter down by Viper 3. You're welcome. We've got a chance here. Let's bring it home. Contact. Code red. Maverick 2. Maverick 3. Join up. Roger. We're pretty far from our allies. Almost done. Any enemies by you, Skyfish? Coast is clear. Currently, no trace of any. Uh oh. Skyfish? Skyfish! What's going on? Skyfish is off radar and is not responding. What, an enemy? Damn it! Where'd they come from? Ah, it was Albert that was flying that plane. Oh yeah. Pale blue got him. Oh, I hit him. Nah, John, he's mine. There's John trying to get him. No, he's mine, boy. Guess I can't head back. Bail out. I mean, if it's just us and Maverick one. No ah, I almost gunned him down. Way. Wait, maybe I can't gun him down. But that's not the issue anymore. Their strength is for real, and that's what they need to survive. Better make sure, huh? Maverick one here. I mean, we gotta survive some house, and if you play as a team, you know, guys, right? If you do things with the team, you'll survive. Enemy fighters have begun to withdraw. Oh, that was, that was gonna hit me. The other one completely, like, diverted the other way. Oh, sorry, I was completely zoned out. To there was a target who flew circles around me. He called himself Albert Ungar. Tell me about him. Albert Ungar? He's an ace pilot. Once he took down three Mavericks by himself. Once, we just saw him do that. His plane had Merv markings. Three against one. Well, if that plane showed the Merv insignia, it probably was him. So you know him? After Merv surrendered, a Merv militia inside the OCC started calling itself the Merv Alliance. You know, you know this, right? Never heard of it. Huh, well anyway, that's the history, and Merv has this pilot called Emperor Sergei, whose kill record is legendary. He's just an old man now, I'll take him out sooner or later. Don't interrupt me. So even before Merv's surrender, Sergei had already named him his successor. So, his successor was that target today? He went three on one. Then he announced his name in battle, right? He's the only one who would have the balls. Uh, if you don't have the balls to do it, then don't do it. But if you got the balls to do it, then do it. The Emperor's here? Here? Oh, I'm sorry. The Emperor's here? Eh... Uh, He's sure to be a fearsome foe. I couldn't care less. What do you mean, Second Lieutenant Thomas? Anybody from the OCC is an enemy of mine. They all deserve the penalty of death. 
Just the same, Emperor's here or not. Ruth, why are you bashing him for that? That's... It's a wartime, that makes total sense to me. Don't you dare ignore me, Ken. If you touch my prey, you're dead. Oh, you want to go, John? I won't hit him unless he comes after me. Have fun with your little hunt. Yeah, I will, sucka. Rundle? Neither John nor myself needs any strategy lessons. Hurry up and dismiss us. Thomas? Valentine? I'm. It's gonna get annoying saying first lieutenant, second lieutenant, first lieutenant, third lieutenant. Valentine? Ma'am? You may never get those two to cooperate, but you must try. The Delta Squadron is riding on your efforts. Yes, ma'am. Whoopsie. Those two must have their reasons for being the way they are. Come to think of it, everybody here has a history. A history? Oh, by the way, to move, make that disappear, I just click the RT button on my controller re right trigger. You'll understand soon enough. Well then, you're dismissed. Yes, ma'am. Wow, the OCC side. Oh. Is that you, Albert? Mm, I'm not in a talking mood right now. Hey, don't let it bother you. Element Leader, why did we merge with the second squadron today? They suck. It was an order from the top, all the way from headquarters. I reckon they wanted to strengthen the force for the final blow. But they have no teamwork. That Leon Klesier got in my damn way. Actually, I killed him before you even got here, Albert. What are you complaining about? Albert! Sir, we're all Merv men. What good will it do to bicker? You need to con concentrate on raising your status out of H of class H. I was going to say H class. I'm sorry, sir. I'm worked up because that pale blue caught me off guard. Albert? Oh? What kind of strategy was that? You've got to work with my men. You'll make the commander worried. I think that was a good reaction of how he talks. I'm very sorry, Leon Pleasure. We will be more careful next time. Well, all right, as long as you understand that. Oh, and stop calling me by my name. I'm older and more highly ranked than you. So? That has nothing to do with who calls who a name. That's your name, boy. I will watch myself. Look at these two. Doesn't it look like Albert can beat the crap out of uh, Leon right now? Like, look how... I think I can beat uh, uh, Leon. Look how, like, not as buff he is. Like, look at Albert. He's got, like, big shoulders and stuff like that. And he's calm. This guy's like a monkey just jumping off the walls. <laughs> you know? Um, very well. Bye then. Albert, don't be so inflammatory. There's just something I don't like about that second squadron. It's like they're ridiculous. You mean... Juice Pei and Leon? Well, they are able pilots. You're better off working with them rather than against them. But they don't show you the proper respect. There's no sense in pointing fingers. The bond of trust between soldiers is all we've got. Don't you forget that. And quit with the pale blue business. I know you're frustrated, but you need to put the Murph people first. Yes, sir. Okay, now you go get some rest. The element leader talks like that, but if he really cared about the Merv, he'd recognize the value of our self-respect. The pale blue plane. My abilities and the status of the Merv people will be in question until I defeat them. Next time I will shoot him down, then the world will know my strength. Story time. The war between the Orbital Citizens Community, OCC, and the Earth Defense Alliance Force, EDAF, had fallen into stalemate, with the OCC occupying 80% of their territory. By extending their battlefront and using delay tactics, the EDAF managed to hold out against the OCC. But lacking military units and personnel, they paid a heavy price and suffered chronic damage. 
Hoping to improve the situation, the top EDAF brass decided to recruit additional troops. They accepted anyone and everyone, and all available backup units were pushed to the front line. The 4th Composite Squadron of the 27th Fighter Wing, a rogue fringe unit commonly known as the Delta Squadron and mocked for having nothing to be proud of but their long history, also took on new recruits and went to fight at the front. Under the wire, the EDAF managed to gather enough troops to sustain the front line and check the OCC offensive, bringing about a lull in the fighting. But the OCC, preparing for an even bigger invasion, was beginning some disturbing activities. I love the Delta symbol. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to go check how far we are in the video, okay? Just going to quickly save up here. Alright, I'll be right back. I just want to make sure where we're at. Time-wise. Alright, guys, I'm back. We're at around 16 minutes. So we can do, I think, one more. We'll do Force Scout. Looks like everyone's here. Lieutenant Rundle's still missing. Wait, where did he run off to? Well, we have work to do after all. Let's carry on without him. That'll make us short though. But Amelia, give us an overview. Alright, I guess the mission's yes, too sir. important. According to Intel from the 306th Air Recon Wing. There's been an unusual atmospheric discharge over hostile territory in area OA-15's Haben Ravine. Here are your orders. Viper 1 and Viper 3 of Delta 3rd Element will patrol Haben with Bravo 1st Element. That is all. Bravo? You mean that other composite squadron we've been working with? That's the one. Their first element consists of two aced pilots under Lieutenant David Smith. Here. I really wish I could uh, play as David. Just, you know, just him and his element. It's they sound like a really cool bunch to play as, and I, I'm curious what kind of planes they would have because David mentions multiple times about different planes he's got. Now that I've been introduced, can I ask why we have to scout some valley that's given off electricity? The levels are out of the ordinary. There's either a special that was a field snooty. there, or some sort of barrier. That was a snooty sound. Why did we gotta do this? Nothing in any valley could create a magnetic field like that. They must have put up a barrier to hide something. May I ask a question? Yes, Lieutenant Leclerc. Which area exactly are we patrolling? All of it. Everything in the ravine. Look at every nook and cranny and report back anything you find. All right. In theory, though, recon should have been done with as few planes as possible. Well, I can see somebody doesn't like this kind of mission. Dang! Little... Wow! Third element wasn't enough, so we asked Bravo to lend a hand. Oh, so Delta can't handle it, huh? Is that what you're saying? Whoa, Constance. She's got a job to do. Don't take it so personal. Okay. Now get out there to the Hobbin Ravine and check things out. Be careful out there. I'll take Root this time. I've unlocked pretty much every single one of Ken's planes, and yes, as I do this series, I'm gonna try to unlock all of their planes and all the special planes. I know for a fact I can't do this in one playthrough or in one series. I, As you can see my file, I probably gotta beat the game two more times to unlock everything, but we'll try. And I'm playing with Fidget Spinner, and look at this, she's got barely any planes, dude. We gotta, you know, unlock a couple more. I'll take the small one. Because, Team Bravo intercept point. Yeah, we're gonna learn how they fight in this intercept point. Which is... Horrible. Picking up radar signal ahead. Enemy response. Counting two elements. 
Suspected patrol units. Right on it. Oh, I meant to use those. Zipper. Zipper. Hold on. There's all Viper units. Fan out and engage. Viper, relax. We get two or three of the things. There we go. We can take these guys. The Panther Cougar, drive the bandits round to my twelve. I I really like the music in this mission. Yeah, there'd be nothing left for us. Quit being cute. Let's down these suckers. Zipper, zipper. If you hit any trouble, I'll be right there. Roger, Lee. Don't worry about us. Panther Cougar status. Ah, oh, they need three. That's a kill. Sorry, just looking out for my girls. Okay, slice back with me. Throttle back to make a tighter radius. Oh. Jeez, you don't have to teach us how to fly. First grade, Lee. Oh, yeah. I forgot how good. I'm going to kill all of them off. How about we go out for dinner after the up? Ain't no gummies in my Lee. Are you asking Can a that? lead really ask their really? team out? There's that sounds interesting. Leave it to me. But let's take care of the it's mission first. Zipper. Zipper. Guess I'm not gonna get the chance to let off in any round by then, huh? Yeah. Looks like we'll be earning quite a bit. Ken literally like flew right in front of me as I shot. Lucky he didn't get killed. Seven, I think I missed one. If there is two units, that would be three planes in each. No, I'm sorry, four. So I might have missed one. I don't know, that's a guess. Do not engage unnecessarily. This is a recon mission. Something I really like to do, do a lot is. You'll hit the anti-aircraft net. Oh wait, too one fast. Too I can't make it. Python one is down. No what are you hanging around for? Let's roll, Ariel. Zip immediately. Ah, I like to play around with my team. Python two, Python three, Fox two. Anyway. Let's start the mission. Guys, get out of there. You're closing fast on a bandit. Pull up. Oh my gosh. All Python units are down. All Viper units. The attack is useless. Disengage immediately. Why is Python units so stupid? Trying to knock them down with bullets. Waste of time. Call for reinforcement. Tell them we have a visitor. Yes, sir. Running away isn't gonna do me any good. You won't be feeling too boastful in a minute. Looks like I can have a Enemy lot of fun. In radar range. I mean, if that's how you're gonna take it, Ken, go ahead. What, are you scared? Viper 1 has locked on. It's a hit. Destruction of enemy vehicle by Viper 1 confirmed. This isn't so bad. No, not at all. From Ismail. Instructions to crush the visitor. Ship for formation C to formation E. Formation complete. Who's now in E thing? formation. Hold formation until we get them on radar. That's the way I like it. You're doing tricks in the canyon. That's smart. No, don't do that. Don't take a plane, go to a valley and do tricks. You're gonna crash. Enemy radar signal. Count two. Okay. All units advance slowly. We will crush them! Destruction of enemy vehicle Whoa. by Viper 1 confirmed. Almost chipped my wing there. Looks like the enemy reported by Ismail. What? They've got this far? What has that been overcome. doing? Closing enemy in on radar. radar range. Damn. No time to switch formation. All units as you are. Continuing advance. Check. A hit. Destruction of enemy vehicle by Lily. Confirmed. Destruction of enemy vehicle there we by go. Viper 1 confirmed. This is the enemy is still alive and kicking. Huh. These pilots enemy are good. Enemy in radar range. They must have broken you know through the Ismail, Uriel, and Kronstadt units. Enemy is incoming. All units open fire! Don't let them through! 
if I want to live, I'm going to have to shoot my way out of it. Destruction of enemy vehicle by Viper 1 confirmed. The enemy there we go. Through. What? They must be some pilots. This is hardly a hope. Yes. Only a handful of pilots oh, in our army can fly like that. The reinforcements can handle it now. We've done all we can. Right. Contact them now. Let's skip Enemy this group yes, here. Communication now from Riga? They have been breached. Yeah, let's just kind of hover oh, underneath ow. everyone. They must have let the enemy through. Enemy in Dude, that's scary actually. Oh, oh, oh. A little close there. They've broken through. What's happened to the air force? This is Where the hell are they? That's a giant thing. What would this be? Like a roller thing? There's a barrier ahead. A gate. Destroy it as you approach. Let's take down the guns first. Destruction of enemy vehicle by Viper One confirmed. Who's got time to think? Viper One has locked on. Fox Two. Viper One has locked on. Destruction of enemy facility by Viper One confirmed. Destruction of enemy facility by Viper One confirmed. All right, and let's turn around. Gate opening confirmed. We've got to keep fighting for as long as we can. Operation complete. RTB. Return to base. Sweet. Sixteen, so we're at twenty six minutes. Lieutenant Thomas? What is it, Ruth? I wish to ask you a question. Why the instance of the utter destruction of the enemy forces? Mm -hmm. I just felt like it. Like, I mean, I have my missiles, I have, I have controls. There's a target. I'm gonna shoot some missiles at it just to see what happens. So, yeah, that's why. In every operation, you've been on your goal. I'm sorry. In every operation, you've been on your goal. You've been on your goal has. Um, in every in every operation, you've been on a goal of total annihilation, just like today with the battleship. With that battleship, it's only natural. We have no data on the enemy. We're fighting the unknown. It's suicide to go all out against these forces. Well, I mean, we killed them. The only way to destroy them is to fight. You seem more focused on their destruction than you do on the victory in the war. If they are destroyed, it will mean victory in the war. I don't see a problem. Neither do I. If we fight a total war, we will create an endless cycle of vengeance. The war won't end until everything has been destroyed. Okay, she's got a point there. It's a good idea to fight and destroy everything, but at the same time, it's not a good idea to do that. You gotta kill efficiently. If I'm making any sense there. So be it. Lieutenant! I've lost everything. There's nothing I can do but fight. I will do whatever it takes to wipe them all out. And that means anything. But Lieutenant, why? It's none of your business. I'll be in my resting room. Just one second. That voice. Lieutenant Smith, are you alright? I'm not going down this easily. They don't call me tough guy for nothing. Ken, was it? What is it, David? You seem to be pretty smug, so I thought I'd share some friendly advice with you. Don't you dare underestimate me. No one here is underestimating you. And I want to say David's kind of like overthinking this thing. I had a little mishap and crash today, but you just wait and see on the next mission. You'll find out why the first el why I'm the first element leader. Except I couldn't care less. Oh!
damn you, you son of a- Oh, hey, Ruth. I love his transition. Oh, hey, Ruth. Y yes what is it, Lieutenant? I sympathize with you for having to put up with someone like that so soon after assuming duties. Thank you? If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm sure I can be of help. This guy's like throwing himself out there. Thanks for your thoughtfulness. Well then, I must leave for a meeting. Please excuse me. Just, what did he want? And, and what was Lieutenant Thomas saying about having lost everything? What on earth could have happened to him? Time will tell. Right guys, time will tell. Anyway, we're pretty much hitting the wrapping up point. It's been 30 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. We did the Gale. We took out some aces. Uh, what else did we do? We did some scouting in a ravine. And we saw that they did have a barrier over their heads. And there were some very weird battleships in there. Like a roller ball thing with guns on it. And we pretty much destroyed him. Easily. Simple as that. Anyway... I'm going to turn this down so I can hear myself. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming out. Um, make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button. You know, it really helps out the channel, myself, and all that kind of stuff. Because um, if you guys are hitting that subscribe button, you're telling me, Hey, Alex, listen, listen, boy. We love what you're doing. We want to support you become better. We want your channel to grow because we really love your ideas. We love what you're doing and we want to see more of it. Maybe not the same game, but definitely more of it. So that's what the subscribe button tells me and YouTube is that you guys really enjoy my video. And also like it and really throw it out there because it helps more people see it. And then, yeah, I grow like that. Um, and then don't forget to hit that bell icon so you guys are always notified of um, when I'm when I upload. Because, because you don't want to miss it, you know. I don't want to sound like my father. But um, if you hit that bell icon... It'll pop up in your little notifications. Hey, Alex uploaded. Go check him out. And then you guys go check it out. And you're like, oh, yeah, we love this. And then the second repeats. So subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon. That all helps me out grow bigger and bigger. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, thank you all so much for coming out. This has been Captain Alex 1. And I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of the night or day. It's night here. But enjoy the rest of your guys' day, all right? And as always... Chest bin.